All right, don't mind the pajamas. I'm just getting ready to go on a fishing trip with a, a group of friends today, but I am gonna bring the snacks. I'm gonna make some chicken Caesar wraps and uh, cut up some watermelon and pack up my cherries. But uh, we're gonna go fishing on Mare Lake and we're gonna take Kurt's new boat, which he's been working on nonstop for like the past two weeks. And uh, I think one of our friends is gonna bring their little fishing boat and we're just gonna anchor up together. Spot we fish in Mare is really awesome. Um, mostly only catching northern pike minnows. Uh, well, me anyways, I've been just casting off the back of the boat, but I seem to be catching a lot of those. Curtis did catch a couple of nice trout last week, the week before maybe, but yeah. So make sure we bring fish and snacks, the most important part. And yeah, I'm still in my pajamas, it's like 11.30, but it's the weekend. And I like to wear pajamas more than I like to wear regular clothes. These pre-bought roast chickens from the grocery store are my favorite because they're just so easy. And this one was on, uh, it's like fresh when we got there, fresh out of the oven, and they were having some like promo sales, so it was only like $2.90 for this whole roast chicken. And normally they're like $10.99. Curtis right now is outside installing his new automatic bilge pump on his boat before we just had one that we had to plug in every like hour. It kind of leaks, it leaks like two or three liters an hour. But we have patched up most of the holes, but there's a couple more that we still have to patch up. But that's all right. You hear him out there drilling holes or doing something. He's pretty proud of his uh, little redneck boat. He got it for free off of Facebook Marketplace. This guy had done some like yard cleanup for these people and they gave him this boat. And it's actually a nice boat with a nice trailer. It's a Starcraft, I think. But uh, other than a few leaks, which we've already patched up a couple, he's in pretty good shape. And then me and Curtis first got together, I had sold him this uh, boat that I got from. If you guys watch Westros, you guys know Sam, our loco delivery lady. Anyways, she's the sweetest girl ever, and uh, she gave me one of the boats that was on her property, and the motor is actually great. We had to do like $800 worth of work to it, but it runs great. That boat, we just took it off of the other boat that she gave me to put on this new boat that Kurt bought, and uh, does like 25 miles an hour, which is pretty decent. And Kurt went and bought like this like foam floor that looks like fake blue wood and put that in there and then we got gaming chairs, like comfy gaming chairs and he took the wheels off and put them in there. So it's all like matching blue. It actually looks pretty good. Now we just need a marine stereo and then we're living the white trash dream. I don't think anybody's gonna finish a full wrap while we're up there. Those look pretty good. Also, my friend Liv is coming, so I know that she's going to end up feeding everybody just like I do because 
well, we were raised the same to always bring snacks every time we go anywhere, so. I know that she's probably gonna bring like sandwiches and something else. I also think she said something about maybe bringing a salad. Liv and Jared just moved in down the street too, so it makes it super nice, especially because we're not working together anymore. I miss her. Scared me. Beep. Beep. You need to eat me? Am I picking you up? Oh, she doesn't like being picked up. Anyways, this is Pip. I call her Mini Pimp because uh, you know, she attacks me all the time. We like walk in downstairs to the bathroom in the morning and she's like, bap, bap, bap at my legs or my house coat. She is friendly sometimes. She's purring. I feel like she doesn't really like being picked up, but that is Pip. Okay, put you down gently. Okay. I am a sucker for chicken Caesar wraps. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? My I got you a snack. It's a floor curtain to sit on. It's like some like blue foam stuff. Yeah, imitation teak. Imitation teak. And these are the chairs he bought. And those just actually sit really nicely on the floor without being mounted. Yeah, them. it's uh, it's coming along pretty good. One of these pads is for you. Oh, sweet. Thank you. The weather said it was going to be rainy and cloudy all day until 2, but it's pretty beautiful out. And all set and ready to go fishing. How many fish do you think you're going to catch today? Mm, maybe two. Hopefully tonight's a good night like it was the other night. Slay some northern pike minnows. Catch that ass. <laughs> So we're all loaded up in the boat. Sun came back out. We crashed on the highway that we had to wait in for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, but the lake's cleared up and there's no more storms. Chris was getting his fish finder out so we can gauge how deep the water is to set ourselves up in a good spot. Sweet. Oh, there's Lake Ford's about to come give us some wave. <laughs> the boat mostly floats, only leaks a little bit. Curtis is marking fish. We just went over a bunch of fish. Yeah, it's literally Getting into like a circle our, our position here. Yeah. Yeah. Curtis likes to be in what, 10 feet of water? Yeah, we usually toss the anchor in about 10 feet of water and then drift back into like 15, 20. So he's got his fish finder down and it's uh get a couple test jigs to make sure it's working. Lots of fish? Yep, good amount of fish. Yeah, well and when I was a kid I didn't know that you needed a boat license to drive a jet ski. Yeah, and so when we were kids my and you can't best, drive a like space parents you're over or whatever, 16. they had this like old like I don't know, 70s, 80s like little sea do. And uh, they'd bring it here to Mirror Lake all the time, but we'd be like I don't know, 12 years old or whatever, ripping around, and Faith would do donuts and, and like hit the bigger waves, and then until we like tip the thing over, and then we'd have to wait for her dad to like swim out and tip it back over because we were too small to do it. Yeah. But I recently found out that you needed a boat license, it, which makes sense, but I just like. Yeah, I, I still don't have a boat license. So I don't have a boat license. It, you know, it, oh, a person should get it water. because yeah, you yeah, can like, get it one time. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't really oh, care about like driving so I would rather be the yeah, passenger. So like, yeah, but like, it'd be nice to know, but it doesn't even teach you anything. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Can you throw the anchor in? I was wondering what the f*** 
That was four. It's <laughs> like, why does he just have a Remember, we're just white on. trash. <laughs> It's like this thing is really annoying. Do we have to have it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if I would ever do parachuting, but I want to try paragliding. Yeah. And I know that's still sketchy, but there's something about it just like it's already deployed, like it's already like ready to catch wind. Something about like the parachutes, like having to release that trigger, so much that can go wrong. And my yeah. uncle Ron, he used to be um, in the military, and yeah. he was practicing to like jump out of airplanes, whatever, with parachutes. And somehow when he jumped out, I don't know if it was like a simulation platform or whatever it is, but he jumped out and his, his parachute got all tangled around him. Or he had tried to get it out and it wasn't coming out. And by the time he got it to deploy, it like had wrapped around his arm. And so when it deployed, it like, you know, it catches a bunch of wind and it rips you. And he had like a scar from like here to here. That, of like where his skin had literally like ripped. Yeah. Because of the force on that. Oh, parachute. <laughs> Yeah, I would do um, paragliding too. Like that's what Jay does. He's Kat tried to convince me. tried to convince me to go parachuting out of a plane, and I was like, bro. I would do skydiving. I wouldn't. I would. Not me. No. I'd do it with a person at least once. Cause you do it with a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just like so much fear. Like that sh don't open. Like I like to. That's what we're gonna do for my bachelorette. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> free, oh, fall into the, like, free fall into the air just doesn't sound sound fun to me. It'd be quite an adrenaline rush. I might do bungee jumping. Yeah. More people die bungee jumping than the other aerobatics. But I assume that's probably from hitting their head on the ground, misjudging how long of a drop it's gonna be. Not rope snapping. Anchors on. You're scaring the fish away. Just kidding. He's just corralling them over this way. Yeah. Well, I put the sunscreen on first. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a true Canadian. I am only ever white and red. <laughs> I am part Scottish. I'm not Irish, though. There's a kid one today. Oh, look at that girl go! Woo! Oh, woo, woo, woo! Ow! Fishing in a show. <laughs> that girl's doing handstands on that boat over there. Watch it just be a child. <laughs> it's definitely a grown woman. Look at her. 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 The world depends on you. Oh, my hands are slippery. I can't get that. Okay, I got this. Oh, rip it off. Okay. You're getting it? Yeah. That actually is hard. That is sick. I'm going to pass it to this way again. Ground, guys. Yeah, well, that's not happening today because it's 10 feet deep just ahead of us and shore is 200 feet away. So you're not dying today. And there's four life jackets. And I can, I can drag you that far. And also, <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Sometimes you just gotta remember, I'm just a girl. Yeah. Cause dad the other day we're out fishing and 
his uh, dad's wine or his lure broke off, like first cast. And so I was reeling off all these uh, pike minnows and um, his dad kept taking them. I kept getting his dad to take them off the line for me. And he's like, you know, one of these days you're gonna have to man up and take your own fish off. And I'm like, you know, I'm a man all day at work. Can you not <laughs> just let me come home and be a girl? <laughs> and he's like, fair enough. And he took every fish off after that. I don't want to. <laughs> well, I don't mind it. I just hate getting some slime on my hands. And if you got nothing to wipe it off, it's just it's like, stinky. Yeah. So, like, you go try to wash it off in the water, but, like, then your hands are cold. And, like, and then, like, when we were out here last, Curtis um, caught a fish, and when he was throwing it back, it spit up a smaller fish. Oh, jeez. No better way to spend Canada Day. Yeah. Man, if you had millions, like, I don't want to live an extreme lifestyle. I just want to live, like, I just want to live. Yeah. Have a small house. Three or four bedroom or whatever. So you have family stay. Five acres. Anything more than that is going to be too much anyway. Yeah. Orchard, garden, whatever. Somehow it ended up being two inches off. Yeah, if I won the lottery, if I became extremely rich and famous, like, all of my friends would be coming out of poverty. I would rather just be, like, middle class and, like, extremely rich. Yeah. Didn't hear what you say. Over. You what? Over. This is Creek 1 to Whiskey Squad Lead. We need airstrike on grid strike. Alpha. Bravo, 12-3. Sit rep, 15 minutes. I think me and Jared were talking about family guy, not actual. <laughs> Did I just start talking? I think you guys gave me a big kiss. But... <laughs> straight towards that like strip of white sh oh there again for this week cast all right if that happens i'm gonna keep my eye there if that happens a couple more times we're gonna fuck it oh yeah right there right there jerry oh you're hooked up you're hooked on Woo! i'm supposed to scream fish on jared is it on still keep reeling you lost it holy <laughs> I'm like, right I would, there, you're like doing something where you're real. I'm like right there. I would say I the fishing's on, moving towards us and we should stay here. I love how Jared's like, I don't even, not even a quarter of the way there. I'm like, not even a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, where if you cast kind of like anywhere from straight out to up that way, it's gonna get mm. be like between 15 and 10 feet deep, and the yeah. weeds will be up like halfway in the column. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll just give it a break until we move. I wanna pee off the front of the boat, but I feel like I'll just end up wearing half of it. Also, my GoPro's right there, so. Oh. <laughs> Well, we switch positions <clears throat> at the lake. Try the fish for jumping, so we'll see if we have any luck. When are they gonna start biting? They already have, bro. You just f***ing, you f***ed it all up. I just f***ed up. You just f***ed it is what happened. <laughs>
The fish that you let go went and told all of his buddies. Yeah. That's why you had to move spots, probably. Yeah, see ah, this? No! It's the equivalent of wearing Here's, a wire. Oh, my oh, new floor. The floor. <laughs> Love you. That's why we got EVA foam. It's the same kind of foam that that fishing rod handle is. On the, or the one Cass is using. Down to try one of these. See, and then the long rod like this, I don't even, I'm not even near Jared's line. Yeah. That one rips. Pretty dope. Yeah. This is my salmon fishing rod. Yeah. So much but now that I've got a downrigger mountain here, and a downrigger, and a downrigger weight, I, uh, all I gotta do is, um, put my reel on my downrigging rod, because I got one that's even bigger and heftier than this one. Designed to get cranked down into the downrigger. You know, maybe you should respect other people's space. Oh my god. What? Did you get, get a bite? We're getting a divorce now. Oh. I fell over. And then Curtis is more uh, Oh, that was just my slack. Yeah. I was excited there for a second. Yeah, you're not allowed to get excited about anything except the bite of a fish. I don't care if you lost a finger. If I get a fish, you guys will no. Yeah, I'm like, Jared, there's a fish. He's like, yep. dead silent over there. <laughs> no, it's on my rod. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's attached. I am away. Yeah, that's he said. It's attached to my line. <laughs> <laughs> you mean fish on? <laughs> You're special. I was getting over dramatic with my fish on. Yeah, Cass makes other people around us feel bad because they think she's catching like untold amount of fish because she screams it every time she has one on, which is usually pretty frequently. That's why. My hook got wrapped around my lure. Oh, it got, it literally was inside the O-ring. Okay, fish Woo. on just a little guy. It's a pike minnow, I think, for sure. Stinker. Oh, what? Babe, nice. it's a nice, trout. Nice little rainbow. You can quit reeling now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let some line out. Okay. Turn out to get a hook in your foot. Yeah, good job there, babe. Good catch. Can you help me get this off of there? Getting all off there is not my strong suit. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh, nice. Told you that was a good hook. Oh, strong release. Keep flashing on that one. <laughs> you want to keep it? No. Too small. Fuck. They got to be over 50 centimeters. And I can eyeball that's, the shit out of 50 That's centimeters. been my Sam first trout out of right? this lake yeah. this year. I have so yeah, far like only inches. caught northern pike minnows. Probably caught 14 northern pike minnows over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> first trout. I was not expecting that. You know what's funny is there was a fish under the boat that I was toying with when you said fish on and I was like shit. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. I'm just getting a little chomp here. Oh, fish on! Right Literally at the boat. Right at the boat. Oh my gosh. Okay. One? No, I don't think so. Babe, can you help? One sec. I'm tying a knot. Second trout. God damn, little buddy. Yeah, and then just draw the J backwards with the hook when you go to pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just. Just in. draw the hook backwards. That's what I'm trying no, to do. No, no, no. Like, okay. I'm going to draw it yeah, pass it over me. So, like, draw it backwards. So, like, that's the J. Yeah. So, like, draw it back. Okay. Yeah, so, like, turn it towards the tip of the hook. That one's just really in there. Yeah, it's on this tongue. Do you want to throw it back? My luck. <laughs> Yeah, that was the best uh, Jared part. I had of that. one earlier and then lost it. 
<laughs> but he didn't say fish on, on so we're like, like oh look at that fish jumping jared cast 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 and he's like i have it we're like what and he's like it's attached to my line <laughs> When I was living out in Falkland, when I was living with all those girls, every single day after work, I'd take my fishing rod down to Joyce or Pillar Lake. And I'd fish every day of the week, and they all stayed home. And I would go to work, so I'd just come home and take whoever was getting picked on the most with me fishing. And uh, go hang out for a couple hours, like rain or shine. I never caught a single thing other than seaweed for like six straight months. I'd go in for like a couple hours every day. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this lake thinks I'm a vegetarian. And then me and Cass went fishing there for like one of our first dates. And we still didn't catch anything. Well, I mean, I caught one fish that was like six inches long. Did you? And one fish that was like, like a pound maybe. I remember that. There was fishermen there and they told me that, like these old guys, and they were like, the key is, well, one, you need a boat to get to the other side of Joyce Lake. I went to Joyce Lake a lot more. And uh, he's like, they use worms, but they take these syringes and they fill the worms full of air and tie or tie them onto their hook and then inject air into them with a syringe. And then they float like an inch or two off bottom and still yeah. like move around. And so that's all that they were using for bait. And he said, that's the trick there. But I've yet to try that. It is a good trick. Another thing you can do for a trick is you put on a T-swivel and you put a weight with like six inches of line or eight inches of line or a foot of line to a weight. Yeah. And then on the side, like the straight part of the T, not the cross, mm -hmm. you put like a, you know, six or ten inches of line with a worm that'll float like that. Yeah. And then you tie your main line to the top of it so then your weight's on bottom and your, it holds your worm up there like that. Are you fishing on that ice fishing rod? Yes, I'm jigging. And so far me and Jared, or Jared lost a fish, but had one on almost at the boat, and I got two fish to the boat. We've seen lots jump. But, can uh, have this thing it. zoom? I don't think it can zoom, but anyway, it's getting cold, so I'm putting my second layer on. I don't know if you can see it. There's a loon over there. <laughs> <laughs> There's been lots of eagles flying overhead, too, and uh, making all sorts of noises. Curtis did end up taking us to the bank to go pee, and I stepped in the water with my sock. And she almost got poison ivy on her butt. Yeah, I didn't know what <laughs> I had to save her. Yeah, so very narrowly. I was like going for mid squat and almost squatted in poison ivy. I was ivy. like, oh my God. I thought poison ivy was the one that looks like the Christmas thing, you know, where it goes like this. And like it got the like spiky the one? Yeah, yeah. That are like green and red. Yeah. I thought those, those were. Those are Oregon great plants. Really? I think. Yeah, the ones that like prickle you as you yeah. walk through past. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought my entire life I thought that was poison ivy. Turns out it's not. It's three leaves. Yeah. Um, and it's got an oily texture on it. Yeah, and the oil, I guess, gives you, like, a burn. Not the actual, like, not getting poked by a plant. So anyways, heads up. But it gives you blisters. It's not fun. So live legit save my ass today. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fish are starting to jump literally feet from the boat. Yeah. And uh I'm hoping to catch catch one of these jumping guys. There's also a lot jumping just out of cast range. I had a bite. You had a bite? Yeah. Is the pike minnow, can I see? Nice. Yeah, well, it's just a little guy. Just a little pike minnow. Kurt's got a fish on. It is a trout. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Gary, do you want to jump on the other side? Of yeah. Do the Whoa, look at that thing. Pretty. Pretty. Hell yeah, babe. <laughs> hey, easy, mate. Easy. Easy. Oh, he's just barely hooked, too.
Maybe there's already more fish, fish jumping out there. No, don't go tell any friends. <laughs> Well, okay. I just had one, got it to the boat, Curtis just took it off, and Jared had one on and just lost it. They are active on the ends of these hooks. <laughs> they just like flail, they're so hard to grab and they're jumping like a couple feet out of the water. Oh, and, and we're running heavier lines so that we're not going to snap off anything, so that allows you to bring them in when they're still nice and feisty too. Yeah, I'm just gonna fix my drag because so I had to tighten up my drag reeling in the, the last one. <coughs> oh, yeah! Nice <laughs> bullseye lib. Except I don't know which way is the bullseye. Yeah. If you think you see your line start going like that, yeah, like they're gonna jump, it. go like this. Go down towards the water with your rod. Because then when they come out, it goes tight. If your rod's up here and they jump, it like usually gets a little slack.